Welcome to this how-to video on setting up your ViewPlus Columbia or Delta printer for use with Braille 2000. First, you should already have the Columbia or Delta printer driver installed. If not, you can download it from our website, www.viewplus.com. Assuming that you do have the driver installed, you can access the printer settings inside the control panel under the Devices and Printers section. You'll see a ViewPlus Columbia if you have it turned on and connected to your computer. Right-click and select Printer Properties under the Device Settings tab. You are communicating directly with the printer to read its settings and make changes that are saved on the printer. The settings shown are the default settings and we only need to make a few changes. Braille 2000 is sending raw text in which is referred to as legacy mode to the embosser. So these settings need to match what is used in Braille 2000. Select form size to 11 and a half by 11 inches for standard Braille paper. Leave the top margin at half an inch because Braille 2000 inserts no top margin by default. On both the left and right margins, using 0.7 inches for standard Braille formatting of 40 characters per line and 25 lines per page results in nicely formatted double-sided documents. Braille 2000 takes care of inserting spaces for tabs and centering, so what you see on the screen should line up well with what is printed using these settings. The duplex setting of double-sided or interpoint will default to using less paper. Click OK to apply. In either the current 1.99 or Beta 2 version of Braille 2000, the setup is the same. Right-click the Emboss button and select Setup. Now select Install New Embosser. I'll name mine Columbia. Leave it as a generic printer. You can find the port back in the Windows control panel from the Printer Settings under the Ports tab. In this case, it's using USB 002. Back in Braille 2000, scroll down until you find the USB 002. Next, hit OK. Now your device is installed and ready to use. For additional tutorials and training, visit viewplus.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to get notified when we publish more helpful tips and tricks.